guys, it's Charlotte here from charlotteohara.ca and in today's video I have brought my good friend Mariah over to collaborate with me and we are going to be talking all about branding and using colors on your Squarespace website. So Mariah, thank you so much for being here. I'm thrilled that you yeah. come to share everything with us today. Same. I'm excited to be here. Thanks for having me. Oh, no problem. I'm actually having you back because this is the that's Another one of the videos in our collaboration series. So if anyone is watching yes. this like on YouTube or checking out the blog post, we do have a couple other video collabs all about branding and your Squarespace website. So be sure to check those out. I'll you know, link to the other ones down below. So yeah. Mariah, in today's video, we are talking all about color and your Squarespace website. And yes. you know, we both know that color is a huge part of branding. And it's one of the like key yes. pillar stones of branding in general. And so mm -hmm. when you put that over onto your Squarespace website, there's so many different things to consider. So let's get started. Like, how would you begin using color on your Squarespace website? Yeah. So honestly, before you even get like to the back end of your website, mm -hmm. figure out what colors you're going to use because it's really important to nail down um, a color palette before you yes. even like start putting colors on your site. So my biggest piece of advice is to start with like one to three dominant colors. Mm -hmm. So choose one to three dominant colors that you'll use throughout like all of your branding, including your website. Yes. Um, use those most often. Um, and then from there you can choose like two to three accent colors if you want as well, um, where you'd use those sparingly for like just little pops here and there when needed. Um, but yeah, so just nailing down those like that color palette, one to three dominant colors, two to three accent, accent colors, colors will be, yes, mm -hmm. you'll be set up for success. <laughs> um, and yeah, then you just, you'd only use those colors throughout your mm -hmm. whole site. Totally. Don't add any others, just willy nilly. Don't go wild on me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally. And when it comes to choosing a color palette, there's a couple different ways you can go. Like, obviously you can choose to work with a designer and they'll make sure that you have a really customized color palette. But if you're just starting off and doing like a complete DIY route and, you know, maybe this is your first version before you like upgrade to the designer route, you know, you can always even go and search like on Pinterest, find some color palettes and get inspired that way, you know, um, you know, see what different type of color palettes work. And, you can choose color palettes. I think another side note is that your color palette is really going to influence like what type or be influenced by what type of brand you have, right? Mm -hmm. So let's say you are a, um, yeah, like let's say you're a like photographer and you do a lot of like, um, you know, weddings and stuff. Maybe you're going to pick a lot of like soft pastel palettes and stuff, some pinks, like and, classic you know, like colors, classic like ivory colors will be in it. And, you know, that's very different from, um, you know, more of a like masculine, let's say like a um, construction firm or something. They're going to have a lot of like greens and browns and stuff in their color palettes probably versus a law firm. Again, probably a lot of navy blues and reds, things like that, right? So pick yes. a color palette that makes sense for you, your brand, and then use that on your website. Yes, exactly. Um, and I even have, I have a blog post that walks you through like step-by-step step how to create your own color palette that you guys Amazing. might find helpful. So Amazing. I can link to that for you guys if you want to use that as well. That's um, perfect. I will definitely link to that below. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. um, Good. Yeah. So once so you have your, color, your colors, how do you yeah. then start using them on your website? Yeah. So then once you get to your site, use those like dominant colors that you chose. Use those for things like your headers, um, your background colors, um, things that like, like button colors. Buttons, um, yeah, huge. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe like the navigation, you know, like the yeah, navigation. Yeah, like the hover color. colors. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Totally. Um, so you so, would go into the site stylings for that, right? So on the yeah. Squarespace backend, you go to the site stylings and you'll see there's all the different ways you can style the site. And yet you go through and kind of select the color for those. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, so 
then but then for things like your accent colors if you, if and when you feel like you want to bring those in um you can use those for more like like link colors or mm -hmm. like smaller button colors or yeah. i don't know like you can even um like like an icon color, color, color or something too yeah yes icon mm -hmm. color yes exactly Perfect. um so yeah, it's just like essentially finding a balance of like using your dominant colors more often and then sprinkling in your accent colors when it feels, when it feels right. When it feels right. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, I think that's such a good point because you know, if you're thinking about colors, like using the color on your, maybe your heading two or something could be a really fun mm -hmm. way to, especially if you just have a lot of like lengthy text on a page, you know, putting a bit of color in those headers is great. And same thing to yes. add color to a button that can really incentivize or make it an accent. And so if you're using yeah. your button as like a call to action, like book a meeting or buy now or something, like if right. you have that, if you've styled that button to be more of like a red action color or something, then yes. it's gonna be way more noticeable on the page and it'll probably convert more, meaning that more people will click on that button. Yeah, that. exactly. The color yeah, makes a big impact, yeah. Totally. Using color to like move somebody's eye around the page is mm -hmm. exactly right. Um, and like speaking of button colors even, um, yeah, usually for like button colors or anything where you need to grab someone's attention, use like reds or oranges or mm -hmm. yellow, mm -hmm. green, like bright pink, things that yes. are like warm and bright that we're conditioned to pay attention to. Um, <laughs> So, whereas like a button isn't going to be nearly as effective if you use like brown or gray or black. Mm -hmm. Much more um, of like a neutral color that just sits on maybe. the page. Yeah. Exactly. It just sort of like blends right in. So if you want somebody to pay attention to something and like 90% of the time you want somebody to click on that button, usually it's a buy now button or a learn yeah, more yeah. button, or whatever. Um, yeah. Use something bright and attention grabbing. Um, and then for things that you can sort of fade back in the background, use like lighter colors or softer mm -hmm. colors, things like that. Yeah, that's so good. I love that point as well. Um, yeah, buttons. I know that I've done that on a few sales pages that I've built, for example, you know, and originally the buttons were more of a, like, you know, they fit in with more of like a gentle branding color and stuff. But then once we switch the colors of the branded or once we switch the color of those buttons pardon me then it they actually improved the conversion rate of it so that meant more sales yeah. and all of was was because we like switched the colors of buttons it's wild it's, yeah. it's crazy design is honestly guys just a science like it's yeah. not about looking pretty it's about what makes things the most effective totally um, so yeah that's that's huge mm -hmm. um, yeah that's really good. So we've got buttons we've talked about. We've talked a little yes. bit as well about, um, you know, using color on things like your headers. So let's say like your mm -hmm. heading two or something like that. You probably don't want to include a colored text unless it's, you know, you're keeping no. it easy to read, you know, keep it very dark. Exactly. Yeah. So don't really you mess with the body. Color, make it, yeah. If you do choose a color, make it like navy or like yeah, dark, right? Gray. Like dark gray. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't want to, you know, like pop off with a pink text or something. Yeah. Like, no, if you want to go really wild, use a dark gray. Otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. But you do have a bit more like, you know, within, within limits, you do have a bit more flexibility on things like headers or yeah, same thing too, yeah. but like the background of a link color, you might want to be, you know, putting that on. So it, it's visibly a link and it exactly, it's a visual cue that someone should click on it. And um, exactly. Yeah, those are good yeah. ways to include color. Yeah. And with headers too, um, back to like using color to like move people's eye around the page. If you have um, like, so in, in design, there's hierarchy. So making yes. sure like header one pops more than header two or header three. And you can do that through color. You can do that through like the weight of the text, things mm -hmm. like that. So like usually it's bigger and bolder, but also if it's, you know, like a color that pops off the page more so than like whatever you use for header two or header three, that'd be ideal. Definitely. Um, so just it, like, making sure that like, importance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. So yeah. that's a good way Wonderful. to think through what colors you use. Mm -hmm. um, that's great. And that, 
Yeah, that actually brings me to another point that I wanted to talk about, which is kind of like incorporating color as, you know, like onto your website as a whole versus going more towards a minimalist design that is accented with color. So personally, mm -hmm. when I design websites, I go for much more of like a sleek, you know, mm -hmm. white based, I would say there's a lot of like white based background stuff. And then we add color to it is like accent bits or, you know, it's like elements, let's say on an index page, you know, maybe like one yes. background will be that or something. But what are your thoughts on using color versus like having a clean, easy to navigate design? Yeah. Yeah. So clean and simple will always trump everything. Like <laughs> if in doubt, leave it white, leave it clean, leave it simple. Don't do anything to it. It's going to look way better if you leave it simple than if you like try to add a bunch of bells and whistles and frills and floofs and yeah. all kinds of stuff. <laughs> and like, um, no disrespect to anyone that's watching this, but like this is particularly true if you're doing the DIY route. Like if 100%. you were doing a DIY route, do not try to do like a, you know, red themed website or something. It will right. be horribly wrong. Yeah. Like right. even a skilled designer, it's going to be a tough project for them. So, you know, make sure yes. that you're sticking to like a white, clean design. Yeah. Carry yes. on. Carry on. And when we say this too, we're like specifically talking about the background color. <laughs> like, yes. Oh my gosh. Yes, exactly. Good point. Too. Yes. Yes. So like you can use red, just like use it here and there. And like for pops, just don't put a red background on your website yes. because it's probably not going to work. Um, no, it'll be a disaster. Like yes. completely. Yes. Yeah. It's yes. so hard to pull that off properly. Yeah. So it really is. Yeah. So sticking. And the good thing is with Squarespace, like Think about it when you load the templates and stuff and you're going in through the site stylings like most of it will default to a white background a white clean mm -hmm. minimalist background and so that is if you as long as you follow what they're doing on that front then you'll be much better off it's when you start putting like full like website based color backgrounds then that's where the trouble can start totally agree mm -hmm. if you really want some sort of like color in your background do it with in like small chunks that like yes. separates sections um you can like do on this an really index easy. page or something yeah exactly. maybe put one of the index. pages with a background yep yes so like if you want like a light blue background on something like do it in just like a section that's like your testimonials like make your testimonial section have a light blue background that is fine yes. it's when you want the whole thing like just choose a white background as your like default background color and yeah. use that. Um, I love that. I agree completely with that bit of advice and I think it's yes. great. Um, so is there anything else that we wanted to talk about with colors? We've covered so much here. Yeah, I don't think so. No, I, think I think that's amazing. Like, yeah. Keeping like the, how it's going to be used on your site in mind as you're like choosing your color palette would be really helpful. Like when you're, creating your palette, make sure you have mm -hmm. like a bright color to use for your buttons and things yeah. like that. But it's yeah. perfect. Good. Yeah. Well, Mariah, thank you so much for being here and for joining me in this video. I've learned a lot and you know, I think that everyone who's watching it has too. So thank you for joining awesome. me. Yeah. Thank you. Good. So guys, Mariah has her website, which is mariahaltoff.com. And I'm going to link to that down below. She also has a really wonderful Facebook group. So if you're interested in learning more about design or you want to run design ideas, either for your own self, for your clients, whatever, um, mm -hmm. her Facebook group is a really wonderful resource. So I will link to that one down below, but otherwise, Check out Mariah on her website, on her Facebook group, and we also do have a few other video tutorials in our little collaboration series. So I will link to a few of those up here below. And um, they're also in the description if you're checking this out on either YouTube or the blog. So we've got you covered on lots of different topics with design yes. and your website. So Mariah, thank you for being here and thank you everyone yeah. for watching. And we'll see yes. you guys later. Bye. Bye.